Hey everybody, this is Tom with The Board Gamer. Today, I want to talk about probably the smallest game in my collection. This game has a total of 16 playable cards. But let me tell you, this fast-paced game is simple, yet so much fun. And as an added twist, you can get a themed version if you desire. The theme I have to show you today is Batman. And the game we are playing is Love Letter. Batman Love Letter is a 2-4 player game for ages 10 and up with a gameplay average of 20 minutes. Published by AEG and Cryptozoic Entertainment. The basic rundown of Batman Love Letter is to take turns drawing a card and playing a card in hopes to either knock out the other players with the card's abilities played or to have the highest number card once the draw deck is emptied. Once you went around, collect a token and reset. The first to seven tokens wins the game. Game setup is simple. Distribute reference cards to each player. Shuffle the 16 cards. If playing with three to four players, remove one card from the game and place it face down without looking at it to the side. But if playing with two players, take an additional three cards and place them face up, not to be used this round. Each player draws a single card. This is your starting hand. On your turn, draw a second card. You must play one of the cards. Apply any effects and play it face up in front of you for all to see. Once the effect is applied, the turn passes to the left. Each player does the same action until only one player remains or until the draw deck is emptied. The winning player collects a token and resets setup for a new round. And the first of seven tokens wins the game. And that is how you play Batman Love Letter. But let's take a look at these cards in detail and explain what these effects are. The lowest numbered card is the number one. It is the Batman card. When played, you are allowed to select a player and say the name of a card. If you are correct, that player discards their card and are out. If you guessed anything other than Batman or Robin and were correct, you get to collect a bonus token for guessing correctly. If the player played a Robin for protection or you guessed incorrectly, nothing happens. The number two card is Catwoman. Catwoman allows you to take a peek at another player's hand, but no other player is allowed to look. The number three card is Bane. When you play Bane, you select a player and compare the cards you currently have in your hand to another player's hand of your choosing. You both compare cards in secret, and the player with the lowest number rank is knocked out this round. The number four card is Robin. When playing a Robin card, you are protected by any effects from any other players until your next turn. The number five card is Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy allows you to choose another player or yourself to discard the card they currently have in their hand and draw a new one. If the discarded card is the Joker, the player who discarded it is out. And in the event there are no cards to draw from, the card removed from the game is allowed to be drawn. The number six card is Two-Face. Two-Face allows you to trade hands with another player of your choosing. The number seven card is Harley Quinn. Unlike other cards, she has no effect when discarded. However, if you ever have Two-Face or Poison Ivy in your hand at the same time as Harley Quinn, you must discard the Harley Quinn card. And finally, the number eight card is the Joker. If you ever discard the Joker, you automatically lose this round and are knocked out. This includes if you discard the Joker because of a Poison Ivy card or a Batman card. Those are all the cards and effects for Batman Love Letter. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. If you're bored now, click this for more games.